Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a bunch of Transformers listings that uh, a lot of people are getting really excited about. And uh, the good and the bad and the ugly about the final production design for HasLab Unicron. And I'm going to get into this because a lot of people are, some people are really happy and some people are upset about it. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchasing some merch on my Teespring store today. Okay, so before I get into the actual Transformers news, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for my next Transformers discussion video, and uh, believe me, I had uh, gone through a uh, fit of writer's block where I was trying to get the, the next best script out, and I had done a lot of brainstorming throughout the month of January, and I had also uh, done research and wrote a bunch for scripts and I talked a lot about that in a live stream uh, with Kato and I finally came to something so that my next Transformers discussion video is coming very soon and it's going to rustle a few feathers and then I'm going to get back to some lighter stuff as well but let's get into this news. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that Hasbro is coming back with a Transformers edition Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly is one of those games that people have been playing since, well, I guess the 1950s? I don't, I'm not sure. The game is a really old game and, uh, you know, it is actually based on Atlantic City's boardwalk. So if you're familiar with that whole area, that's kind of the whole entire theme behind Monopoly. Um, but I, I, there was a Transformers edition Monopoly back in 2007 and uh, it was more that the the I actually still have it. It has the the box art for um, like like Dreamwave art on it. But it seems that they are going to be doing a new edition for it, and it is going to be based upon the evergreen designs. You're going to have six playable uh, Transformers. You're going to have Optimus, Bumblebee, Grimlock, Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave. And uh, the game that breaks up families and takes three or four hours to play is going to be something fun for a lot of people, I'm sure. And you can see the images there. They're actually kind of, it's kind of a neat thing uh, that they're going out with this theming uh, for Transformers. I've never taken the, the, uh, the old one out of the packaging. So I'm really curious as to how different this one is going to be in comparison to the other one. But eh, it's kind of neat. Now, there have been a lot of Transformers listings that people have been talking about. Uh, we have seen things for the War for Cybertron Kingdom line, and the Kingdom line is going to have, uh, from what we understand, there's going to be Inferno. Actually, I think we've seen some images of Inferno, and uh, there is apparently going to be a T-Rex uh, repaint of Megatron. There's going to be Rodimus Prime. And uh, but now there there are more listings also for Studio Series 86, and I'm actually excited about these ones in particular. I actually have here uh, Studio Series 86 Scourge, and um, you know this one in particular. I still haven't taken them out of the box yet, but I was wondering, it's like, do I need to buy four of them in order to make sweeps, or are they going to release sweeps separately? And it seems like they are going to do so. So you're probably going to have to pay. You know the same price that you did for 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 scourge to get you know one of the sweeps so either you're gonna have to buy multiples of scourge and i don't know if they're gonna re if they're gonna change the face at all because i know that they did that um back for i think it was one of the platinum editions the armada of cyclonus uh came with one of the sweeps which was actually uses the head of the botcon devcon so who knows maybe we might see a sweep without a beard and then they might recolor that or redeco that as uh, DEFCON. That would be a pretty interesting thing to see. And I've also been waiting for a new Rekgar. The one thing about buying multiples of Rekgar is that pretty much you have tons of Junkions to army build. And Rekgar is definitely one that people are going to want if they uh, you know, want to complete their 86 collection. And he is definitely on my list. And Takara has released some official images for some of the Kingdom line that is coming down the pipeline, but it's going. This is going to be what you know Takara is going to see out of their their releases. And so we know Inferno is coming. And I loved the grapple mold and seeing Inferno. Ah, oh, 
he he looks awesome just absolutely looks amazing and you know you can't have red alert without inferno just like you can't have grapple without hoist so seeing this inferno it's it's i definitely want this toy because um you know he is he's definitely on my list to get and uh he it's the, the toy is a great toy so it's already like on my list there and a lot of people were you know saying that they don't like this ultra magnus and i totally understand it in robot mode he looks awesome he actually looks a lot better than the siege one in my opinion because he seems more cartoon accurate except for some color differences in places um but it's it's his alternate mode that a lot of people are upset about and it's totally understandable like that they're, they're just basically retooling the siege mold uh into an earth truck and it kind of works <laughs> right and i've talked about this before but like the more i'm looking at it i'm like I really wanted them to go above and beyond for Ultra Magnus. If they're going to do so for Rodimus Prime, they're going to need to do so for Ultra Magnus as well. And uh, I wish that they basically made the car carrier armor for Earthrise Prime and made an Earthrise Prime that is white, you know, that has a Ultra Magnus trailer. That would have been better, personally, instead of just, you know, doing the kit. Because the thing about the truck mode is that it's the kibble, right? A lot of people are complaining it's the kibble coming off of it that just doesn't match it being in earth mode. And that to me kind of seems like you guys could have done more. And I think it has to do with budget. They can have only gone so far. And I'm under it's, that to me is understandable. You know, Starscream looks great. Absolutely great. If you're going to get the the, uh, the Kingdom Core class Starscream and if you want to like an, an affordable one. Again, this is probably something I'm going to end up giving my daughter because she absolutely loves Starscream. And uh, so this is probably going to be like perfect for her. But take a look at this Megatron. This, Meg I, you know, we saw promotional images from this before and it didn't look as good to me. But good God, did, did Takara go the above and beyond like selling their product? Because as much as gappy as this thing is... First of all, again, I, I talked about this before, Megatron in gun mode, right? Megatron in gun mode looks great to be an accessory, and that's what attaches to him when he goes transforms into a tank. But this head sculpt is fantastic. This is better than Earthrise. This is better than Siege. This is G1 Megatron. Uh, you know, this is the head that the head design that they should have gone with throughout the War for Cybertron trilogy. And the robot mode looks great, and his tank mode looks okay. So you know what I want to see? I want to see a third party. I want to see a third party person make a head sculpt for Megatron that fits the Earthrise and Siege mold that looks this good. And in addition to taking that stupid tank spear thing, and so I can like do an addition to it so I can make it like part of his back cannon to try and make that a little bit better got to be something to do with that and of course we get more of the studio series um you know live action starscream you know for the bumblebee movie as well as dino and i gotta say like of all of a lot of the different you know bay formers you know movie designs this one i actually really enjoyed and i wish he was in the movie more and, you know to me he's not he's not mirage this is straight up dino and I understand the, the, the reasoning behind his car mode, but his robot mode looks great. Now, before I get into the next bit, and as I talk about uh, the main topic of discussion, which is Unicron, I wanted to bring to light this particular uh, instance in which, you know, Hasbro is now revealing, hey guys, we had a pretty profitable year for 2020, despite the fact that everything was shut down. Uh, you know, even though they had to work around the virus, work around the pandemic, we they, they still had a lot of success with Transformers. And we are going to see a lot more when it comes down to, you know, War for Cybertron and and what have you. Hasbro even had enough money to purchase Entertainment One, which owns Paw Patrol, which is one of like their most pro profitable you know, toy lines and TV shows. So it's kind of like Hasbro had enough money to be able to buy out another company and they still had a full profitable, you know, year 
and they had us crowdfund for something that is pretty massive and that is has lab unicron and we're finally getting a, a production update about the toy itself and we got to see a lot of images and, and what have you but now we're getting to see what the toy looks like out of package and overall i mean the mold itself in my eyes i think the mold looks awesome i think that the you know finished product does have a lot of a lot going for it the fact that it is such a large toy it comes with a lot of accessories but i gotta break down a lot of things because as much as people are as excited for this thing some people are very upset and it's understandable people paid 575 dollars to crowdfund this thing and they were expecting what they saw in the prototypes now this is the head without the faceplate and everything you know with the teeth the arc accessory as well as the uh rodimus prime and galvatron you know many accessories that come with it and we end up finding out that it does have two interchangeable chins so you can change what the face looks like but take a look at this this is bothersome right here the unpainted teeth like first of all i was perfectly content with them not even having teeth to begin with I'd rather Unicron not have teeth in robot mode, but it just doesn't look right, you know? Uh, no matter what you do. And the other problem that you can see here is this problem right here, right in the maw of the planet mode. A lot of people are complaining about the back kibble, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and one of the things that like has always bothered me since I first saw the prototype was the fact that the you know the rings which become like the the cape like you know attachments on his arms are not solid plastic they are very gappy you know that is something that has always bothered me especially if you're going to be crowdfunding this thing but uh you know some of the color choices in places like the fact that it's unpainted does not look well but the figure itself, again, I I, I want to say overall presentation, it looks great. Like if you're just looking at it from this perspective, there is the Armada Unicron, there is the Cybertron Primus and other versions of Unicron that have come out in the past. And you can see how big he is in robot mode. You know, even his planet mode is, is massive. You know, taking a look at the Armada Unicron and the, uh, I believe this is the Titan's return or no, this is the, the, the uh, Takara version of uh, Fortress Maximus. But again, this whole unpainted plastic thing. Back in 2019, I went to New York Comic Con and uh, you know, I had gotten there late for the Hasbro presentation because of traffic and it was raining and people don't know how to drive on the on the turnpike. But when I got there, I got to see Unicron firsthand and he was awesome looking. You know, mind you, the fact that this was a painted prototype. So the colors that they chose, they said, oh, you know, product may vary, right? Looks awesome. People are like, I see this thing. I see it in person. I must have this thing in my collection. $575. And they're looking at a giant, you know, toy that they're going to spend their money on. And you can see how big it is in person. But when you take a look at the prototype itself, and you notice that the hands are fully silver, that you notice that the teeth are painted silver as well. And then you take a look at the final and you take a look at those teeth and you're just like, this doesn't look right. If you're gonna give us teeth, if we have to have teeth on Unicron, they might as well be painted. I shouldn't have to take an extra bottle. Like here, I have a bottle of orange paint, which I'm sure that people are gonna spend. Like it's like, it's two bucks to buy this bottle of paint, but you shouldn't have to do this. You should not have to take, uh, you know, if you're gonna spend $575 on a toy this big, you shouldn't, you should be getting your money's worth. I don't think that spending that much money is, you know, should should be giving you inferior product. Like Hasbro understand, like you understand that you are you are buying a product that is crowdfunded only, that it is, um, you know, it's custom made to order. The, the people who bought this thing expected 
something as a result and therefore they absolutely have the right to complain and so do the people who are probably going to end up buying it secondhand because <sighs> people are going to be selling their copies on eBay which you can see they're going for like 1500, 1200, 1900, 2500 dollars. Some of even some people even have it in hand like someone from Singapore, which means cuz here's the thing, Hasbro manufactures this thing in either I think in either Vietnam or in Singapore. So what you're seeing is is that someone in in that country bought it at at the value that they're supposed to buy it and they're going to end up because they live there they're getting the product and they're directly selling it to you but you're going to have to spend that much money on it oh, man like if you want to get it secondhand i think ha i think a uh, big bad toy store i could be wrong could be selling it for 800 or the, at least they still were i don't think they are but here look the the pictures that they were showing were painted teeth so what you're getting is you're not getting what you're paying for. You know, you see the prototype, you see all the images, you see them advertising the thing, and you're like, how come I'm not getting what I'm paying for? The back kibble, something that I, I, I wanted to make mention of with the back kibble, I'm not as bothered by it. And the reason why is because they're trying to, to figure out a way to get the planet mode to fit in into pieces. People have been, I don't normally talk about third party, but I will say that the Zeta, you know, uh, third party Unicron toy does a better job of trying to get the robot and the planet together. But I guess they're trying to make this thing as big as it is and still make it fun to transform and still, and you being able to li like at least lift it. Because uh, someone named uh, Holy Culture, I guess in, in Korea, had gotten his hands on it already. And he actually removed the back kibble off of the back of Unicron itself. And without the back kibble, he does look good. So when you take take a look at him, he does like he I guess he took a screwdriver and just removed all of the pieces from the Unicron toy in order to make it work and you can see all of the pieces he had to remove in order to get the planet mode, you know, taken off so at least he gets a worthwhile robot. <laughs> what are you going to do when you want to transform that thing? I guess you have to to reassemble that somehow some way. But uh, again, the other thing with the hands being that unpainted, like the hand itself is is very open. Like so, when the when the claws open up, it's not a solid hand, and it just doesn't look right. But at least like the taking the back off, you can do that. Some people have even made mention of the fact that like the feet themselves, it's you have to kind of like pose him in a certain way in order to get the feet to, um, in order to get him to stand on his own without the plastic stand that he comes with. And that kind of stinks because you certainly want to be able to, to play with this toy, you know, on your shelf and at least have him in dynamic poses and, you know, having the Transformers try to face him. I the other, the other thing that I want to complain about is these two accessories right here. Take a look at this. This is the Galvatron and this is the Rodimus that they that it comes with. I saw in person what they look like. They're ex they're, they're super tiny. They're like about that big, like really really small. But the versions that I saw at um, you know, at New York Comic Con were they were molded better. This seems to be, they don't look as good. Like it's like a, like a solid blob of plastic that it comes with that you put like the little figurine on. And uh, <laughs> it's like, man, like, you know, you're, you're spending all this extra money to, 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 to get a custom made toy. And the product that they're delivering is not as good as what you anticipate. However, and I'm being, I'm trying to be as, um, I guess, you know, ob objective as I can here because it just, re I really feel for the people who paid so much money for a toy and they want it to be a, as better of a product. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, well, you're spending $575. You are getting a Unicron toy. You are getting all of these extra parts. But I still think that you should get what you pay for when you spend that much money on a toy and I feel for you. I feel for everybody who spent their money on it. They know that they could, they can't get their money back. 
and there's a there's a lot of good and bad in it. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you know are you still excited to you know for those of you who are who pre-ordered your Unicron or are you kind of disappointed? Are you going to probably take some paint and paint it yourself? Um, and what do you think about all those other Transformers news? Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. Um, I have a, like I said, I have a new discussion coming very soon, so you stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.